Patrick Davison. Well, Stephen, a real roller coaster for you. Is the main emotion pride at your team's character and fight back? I think that's a big positive now in the end. Um, I thought second half we improved a lot, but it took some uh, honesty at half time. Um, we had to demand more from the players collectively because for the first 25 minutes, um, we were second best. Um, we didn't commit to what we wanted to do. We'd prepared really in a positive way. We wanted to be aggressive on the front foot and really you know, jump on Manchester United. We thought it was an opportunity there, but credit to them, they were better than us uh, throughout the first half. But I, I feel that uh, the first goal we've conceded come off the back of us being passive and second best and um, giving corners away and silly fouls. So we certainly deserved to be in the position we was at half-time. And um, from there... It couldn't, it couldn't be any worse, so I expected us to be better. I expected the reaction and credit to the players. You know, it got worse at 2-0. We could have went under at that point, but we never. We rolled our sleeves up. We, we, we were aggressive. We, we were winning duels. We were on the front foot, and it was much more like I want Aston Villa to play, and we got something out of the game. Were you really surprised by that first half, or certainly that first 25 minutes? Because with the new sign-ins, with the way you played on Monday night, it seemed right for a really fast start and a great atmosphere, but... As you've said already, it didn't happen that way. Yeah, I was a bit surprised because we prepared well. We, we've been aggressive in training all week. We analysed the game on Monday night and we took a lot of positives in, in how we played. But at the end of the day, we lost the game. So I expected the reaction that I got at half-time from the first whistle. And I believe if we would have got that throughout the 90 minutes, we might have been taking more than a point away. So what was? give us a flavour of what half-time was like in your dressing room. Listen, just to be honest with the players, you know, when you're playing against Manchester United and, and, and good players, if, if you're second best, if you're passive, uh, if you don't take the handbrake off and commit to the game and leave it out there, you'll get picked off. They'll play round you and they'll score goals. So um, we needed everyone to commit to what we wanted to do, and that was to be aggressive with our own. You've seen the reaction of the crowd when they see people winning duels and tackles and putting the body on the line. And all our good stuff and our good play come off real honesty and we didn't have it in the first 25 minutes. So when their second goal goes in, you're on the touchline with Phil Coutinho stood next to you, he's just thinking it's just a little bit too late, it's going to be too much for him to affect the game now. No, I'm just thinking I need to change something. Um, I thought that goal was slightly harsh on us because we improved after the break. It was a lot more like us and how I wanted to look. Um, but when you've got a player like Phil behind you and you're 2-0 down, you know you, you want to throw something different at it. I thought Carney come on, showed real power for an 18-year-old kid. Uh, Courtney's playing right side centre back, who's left footed the elder zone. So the subs tonight were really positive. Uh, Luca Dean was fantastic throughout the 90 minutes. Phil has a cameo, and um, we scored two goals, but. The, the, the slight disappointment I've got is the first half performance. Um, it, it was a bit of a surprise because of how we prepared for the game. So, Philippe Coutinho, you did say he was still good. He is good. Listen, you, you don't lose talent. I think the, the key thing for Phil is he needs to be in a place where he feels loved and supported. He needs to be smiling and enjoys football. I think anyone who goes to work and they're not enjoying themselves or in a positive place, it's difficult to perform and be at your best. He's 29 years of age. Um, he's won all kinds of different things and he's still got that hunger to play and, and contribute. Um, once we get him fitted and stronger, I've got no doubt he can create and score goals for this team. How important do you think the fast start he's made today could be. I think the Villa fans were already behind him. He's a massive signing, but just for him, he's come in and he scored immediately. I'm sure he'll be he'll be feeling really positive. I thought he was brave for the goal. He was involved in the first goal as well. So he's had the impact that he probably dreamt of when I've shouted for him to come onto the pitch. He's probably thinking, you know, can I do something to impact the game? So he should be really pleased with himself. It's not just bringing Philip Coutinho and Luca Dean, the level of players in, it's what it does for other people. You know, Carnies and JJs and young talents playing around these top level players. That's what we want because it'll help their development. What did you make of Jacob Ramsey today? First half, um, a little bit off it, if I'm honest. And um, we, we, we told him that. But I got the reaction I expect. He's a good professional, he's a great kid, he's going to be a top player. But there's still a lot of stuff to work with. Second half, he was outstanding. He was aggressive. He was positive. Got a goal and assist. You can't ask for more than that. Just before we finish, can I just go back to the substitution you made and the second goal? Were you going to do something different and then you changed who you were going to sub? It was going to be Ings. You changed the Sanson yeah. because the match situation changed? Yeah, we did. We did change, yeah. We, you know, I didn't want to send a signal uh, around the, the, the stadium in terms of being negative 2 nil down. It was, it was a like case taking of a goal scorer off. Be, being as aggressive as we can, trying to leave our goal scorers on the pitch for that a little bit longer. And um, that was the idea behind it. Yeah, and he looked 